Welcome to Nicholas Live's casting couch. What's your name? J Mall of Pickup. <laughs> and what was uh, where do you come from, sir? My mom's vagina. And what was the last time you recorded something on camera that was sexual? No comment. Actually, I just made a porn last night. Uh, this girl was so fucking turned on. She was, she was like, please keep filming with my camera. I'm like, fuck yeah. But the bitch doesn't want to send me the video because she knows who I am. She's like, I don't want to be just another fucking bitch in your gallery. I'm like, oh, god damn it. But, um, yeah. Hey, we're going to tell a story. Okay, before we continue, please like and subscribe below. We're going to tell a story about... We got to do it quickly because there's a girl waiting in 10 minutes for coffee. And I'm about 7 minutes away. That's all right. Well, there's another one after that. Oh, fuck. The struggles. The struggles. Okay, so this is like good wingman tactics. So there was a chick. Well, first of all, backing up to how I met this chick. There was a chick at a, a sushi restaurant that was a waitress. And I was out to dinner with this Lithuanian girl I had banged, and she knows what I do. And we had a really hot waitress wearing like a little leather skirts, all this shit, like really nice body. And... The Lithuanian chick was like, I want to see you work your magic. So I flirted with the waitress, got her number, um, ended up meeting up with her. And we had like three dates, but like none of them were closing. We, we were like fucking making out in our underwear and shit. That's about as far, as far as it got. There was like some light touching and shit. And she was like, oh, I take things really slow. She had only been with like two guys in her life. She's like 23. So anyways, I had to meet up with her yesterday. And she's like, oh, my best friend is at my place, like, I, like she was supposed to come over to my place, but she had just gotten lip injections, and she's not really like a plastic type chick, but she was getting lip injections, and she's like, oh, I don't wanna go out in public because I just got my lip injections. My best friend is here. Um, what else? Uh, and she's like, don't try to have a threesome with us because we're like sisters, and I was like, you and I haven't even fucked yet, ha ha ha, and she was like, in quotes, she was like, yeah, ha ha, and then he's like, oh yeah, she's down. So. I'm like, hey, I'm going to bring my friend because I was hanging out with him. I'm going to bring, bring my friend. So we get over there and they're like, let's watch a movie. Let, let's make popcorn, right? And it's just like the four of us on the bed. And so you can go over what you did next. Okay, so the funny part was um, the reason uh, that other girl was at uh, his chick's place was because she was hungover as fuck. And uh, she, friend, just, yeah. she just needed a friend and just needed like the place to chill. So they were just eating popcorn and, and her, his, his girl was afraid to leave the house because her lips were swollen and she was like, very self-conscious of her looks. So um, what, what, uh, he got invited and he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring a friend. Um, so he just brings me over and like... You know, we meet up, you just, you know, just the light small talk in the first five minutes. And um, I, I realized that, you know, shit's just, you know, gonna get boring really, really fast. Because that's what happens. And everyone's like cock blocking. Yeah, and like everyone's gonna cock block each other because they're just four people in one room is just no fun unless you guys are all open-minded which is weird it's it's a very rare situation for a foursome to happen just right there um so you, most of the times you gotta isolate as soon as possible both uh, both girls and what i did was i just asked his girl like um because we were eating just a bunch of salty salt friend. yeah i just asked no i asked your girl oh. i was like um you were eating a bunch of salty popcorn i was like oh like do you want to eat something sweet uh she's like uh, yeah i would love to i'm like cool i'll just run go around to the store and i turn to my chick uh the, the chick that's you know i'm, I'm winging with uh winging for and I'm like, yeah, so um, show me where the closest store is. And uh, actually, his chick was about to get up. But the way I just turned, like, turned away from her and just looked at straight at, yeah, at, I told at her my to stay chick. Here. I was like, come here. And, and what he did was like, you know, just to stay here with me. So we just, yeah, I instantly isolated him. I, I take my chick to the chore store. I just take it really easy. I, um, you know, I slowly shop around, just talk about boring shit, kind of like build up, um, build up report as much as possible. And uh, then, you know, um, she like we were like you know on, on the way back and I, I was before we even got to the store just asking about the closest coffee place and then like on the way back i'm like yeah show me the cool coffee place so just i kept trying to like uh, prolong uh, us being outside and not bring yeah. her back home yeah i was doing like some minor escalation stuff my chicks like they're gonna be back soon they're gonna be back soon and then it kind of reached like a point where it's like i don't think they're coming back soon because like 20 minutes 25 minutes passed and like the shop was like next door and then she like called your chick or something and your chick was like Oh, we're walking around or some shit. Right. So what happened was I just tried to like prolong as much possible and like I got, took my chick to the coffee place and we were at the coffee place and she just got a phone call because because his chick was worrying where, where where we are and I'm just telling like tell her just, just tell her it's fine we're just giving some coffee or just chill out right here and um, yeah that's what happened we just uh, ended up chilling out in the coffee place yeah so I ended up fucking escalating more on mine she finally was ready to bang after three dates this was the fourth date you and you said you would rate her what. 
she's like your so she didn't need a fucking lip injection she, she's an idiot but like she's a 9.5 and she's kinky as fuck it's like it's like a it's a 10 pretty much she only yeah she'd only been in uh been with two dudes before and she like fucking popped in a butt plug like <laughs> <laughs> like right when we started that bringing, is my favorite fucking favorite shit ever well, i have two of those right when we started uh hooking up she popped in the butt plug banged her a whole bunch and then you guys fucking came back like mid-sex so it was perfect timing because i couldn't i could only keep my girl away from the house so long and she was like okay i have to go back see what's happening and i was like okay i'll just go check on them because I, I couldn't i could not prolong it like any longer it was like 40 minutes at this point 50. Yeah. so we go come back inside and it was perfect timing because you could hear hear these two moaning and i'm like okay don't go in the room let's go in the kitchen there was no room no room in the kitchen to sit down so i'm like let's just leave the stuff here and get out of here and you know she felt uncomfortable because she was interrupting her friend and, and like uh, so i was able to take her away even longer so what i did was we just called an uber i went to show her uh my cool place in the view <laughs> and i just brought her over here and i almost end up closing her like in my place because um we just were, felt corny because these two were fucking we she heard too, but she was too hungover right yeah she was what? way too fucking hungover to fuck so like she couldn't get horny at all but um she, that was just touching everything on her <laughs> um and now she's coming in like 30 minutes, right? And I have a fucking coffee. Yeah, she's, she's ending uh, university right now, like five minutes. And then we're just gonna, I'm gonna meet her aside and like, you know, come chill at my place. And we all know how that's gonna end. Yeah, my chick's coming over for a sleepover tomorrow. Or it's gonna be like oh, an so all-night bang fest, but he's trying to fucking. So, so the, the turn, plan is he's yeah. trying to turn it into an orgy. This is your plan, no? Like, this is my plan. So like, if we can both like fuck the girl separate, they're, they're best friends. We're best friends, right? They're both really hot. They're both really hot. So best friends, fucker. Just, just to fuck up, man. Uh, so basically, um, we're like best friends with them. Uh, we're just business partners, actually. <laughs> you invest crypto money for me. Yeah, and. Um, I get you laid. Pretty much like I invest his crypto money and he gets me laid, so that that's kind of our business partnership. Uh, so he's my he's my sex mentor. I'm his like financial mentor, but um, sex mentor. Yeah, pretty much. So anyway, like my plan is like if I can close my check today, uh, we're supposed to have a sleepover with them tomorrow evening. So if I can, if I can fuck my check today and like uh, start make her make her really like me, you can just turn it into a fucking orgy. Yeah. Well, the, the thing yeah the thing is both of them are hot. I kind of like yours a little more. But the, the reason we want the orgy is because I like his more. He likes my more. So, so we can just fuck each other's they're girls. Both, they're both really hot. I mean, they both look similar too. But they're hot as fuck, but like his is more. For, he, his girl is more my, my taste, and my girl is more of his taste because my girl has like bigger boobs, bigger ass. And his is like tall as fuck, like a fucking model. So we're just going like, to switch it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Oh, uh, and they were like kissing before. So they, like, they actually had sex before, they right? Had, yeah, they had a. What's cool is my chick, um, her first boyfriend. Her and her first boyfriend were like hooking up, and they brought in the friend, his girl, um, in on a threesome with with her first boyfriend. I don't know how long ago this is, like a couple years ago or some shit. And that was like how the how the friend lost her virginity. By the way, the friend's been with six six guys, not four. Oh wait, you told me that. <laughs> it's no. Uh, so his his girl thinks my girl fucked six guys, but I, I well, found she out. No. Oh shit, she thinks four. Yeah. I know it's it's for fact eight because like I spoke to her. I'm really good at like feeling sensitive information away from people that's my expertise i'm a negotiator and shit so um so pretty much like i opened her up really quickly and, and like her his girl doesn't know like how many guys my girl fucked so um yeah but the, fu the, the fun fact is she only had one night stands they were all shitty and she never wanted to fuck another guy again uh she never wanted to fuck any of those guys again yeah, yeah. Uh, she never fucked the same guy twice and that, that, that explains perfectly my definition of one night stand the definition of a one night stand is shitty sex like you would repeat it if it's a good sex so like uh, a good a quality of like guy, good guys in sex is like you don't have one night stands I'm supposed to be at a date in two minutes so we gotta wrap this up that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, like, what's, what's cool is like it's good to have a, a wingman in the know, and even if you you don't have like a, a solid wingman or whatever, you got you have to like instruct him before you get in a situation like this. Like, I didn't even like go over a game plan with him beforehand, just because I've already trained him before. But like, had we just all sat there and watched a movie, like no one would have gotten laid. Like, oh, we had we had like du double pulls before, so we did this shit before. But I'm just saying, like if we if we were just sitting there, yeah, because he he hired me. Uh, Last July, we lived in the same place in Warsaw for a month, and it was just like fucking two, two months. One month. No, it was one. Why do you keep thinking that? It's two fucking months. No way. It was forever, man. Doesn't uh, doesn't matter. I thought it was one. I don't know. Maybe it was two. I don't fucking know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But no, no, it was one. Cause then I I lived in Airbnbs and I got a lease on September first. Um, yeah, we had girls in and out all the time. Um, but yeah, like had you not done that, 
the four of us would have just been sitting there watching a movie. I wouldn't have fucked my chick, which was long overdue, and you wouldn't have built up things with yours, and now she's coming in like a half hour, and you're going to close it out. All right, I got to get the fuck out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe below. We're going to go try to make some videos outdoors this week. Uh, let's bring the tripod outside, and we'll, I'll bring my lav mic and shit. Oh, no, we'll use this. The microphone. It's pretty cool. How much was this? I don't know, got it like a, it's a used microphone from a singer, it was like hundred bucks used, I don't know. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, you guys know that I love this guy, and he, he loves me in a non-homosexual way, so like, um, if you need like anything sex related, this guy's got you covered. If you need finance, check me out, uh, I got my own financial uh, channel, it's, it's boring as fuck if you're not into finance and money and crypto, but if you are, it's, it's some gold shit, so I'll see you guys later.